Today we're diving into some of the most significant hydropower projects currently underway in Turkey. We'll focus on two major developments, a hydroelectric dam under construction on the Kuroki River in the Black Sea province of Artvin, and the monumental efforts behind building the world's largest suspension bridge. Let's start with the Yusufeli Dam, a hydroelectric marvel nearing completion on the Kuroki River. Unfortunately, the completion of this massive project means that the town of Yusufeli, located just 8 kilometers or 5 miles from the dam, will be submerged. Since ancient times, humans have been constructing barriers to control water flow for agriculture. However, the dams of today are marvels of engineering and technology, far surpassing the modest structures of the past. Modern dams feature enormous concrete walls, sluices, and gates. The higher the dam, the greater its water storage capacity. The Yusufeli Dam will stand 270 meters tall, making it the tallest in Turkey and the seventh tallest in the world. It's a concrete arch dam, construction of which began on December 21, 2012. It's part of the larger Kuroki River Development Plan, which includes 13 dams, two operational and two under construction. The primary purpose of the Yusufeli Dam is to generate hydroelectric power, supporting a 540 megawatt power plant. The project is controversial due to its anticipated impact on local biodiversity and the displacement of residents. Upon completion, the power plant will generate 1.9 billion kilowatt hours annually, enough to meet the needs of 650,000 people. The Yusufeli Dam, built entirely by Turkish engineers, will significantly boost the local economy, adding over $221 million annually. Located 70 kilometers, 44 miles, southwest of Artvin, the dam will be a double-curved arch structure using 4 million cubic meters of concrete, the equivalent of building 50,000 houses. Its reservoir will cover 33 square kilometers with a total storage capacity of 2 billion cubic meters. As the Yusufeli Dam begins operations, it will produce 560 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year, contributing 2% to Turkey's hydroelectric power generation capacity. This engineering marvel will leave a lasting legacy, showcasing Turkish expertise and ingenuity. In addition to the dam, the project includes 110 kilometers, 68 miles of roads, 45 tunnels, 22 bridges, and 92 culverts. It's expected to contribute $83.5 million annually to Turkey's economy, paying for itself within seven years. Now let's shift our focus to another ambitious project, the Sanakale 1915 Bridge, which aims to be the longest suspension bridge in the world. This bridge spans the Dardanelles Strait, a critical waterway connecting the Black Sea with the Mediterranean Sea and serving as the border between Europe and Asia. Despite its strategic importance until 2022, the Dardanelles was only connected by three bridges and two tunnels in Istanbul, causing significant traffic congestion. The idea of building a bridge here was first proposed in 1988, but faced numerous delays due to political and economic challenges. Construction finally began in September 2017, led by a consortium of local and South Korean companies. The bridge's central span of 2023 20, meters aims to break world records. The total length of the bridge is 4,608 meters, and its main cables contain enough wire to circle the earth four times. The Tsana 1915 bridge project includes a suspension bridge, viaducts, underground bridges, overpasses, and various other structures. It will reduce travel time across the Dardanelles from an hour and a half to just six minutes, dramatically improving transportation efficiency. The project was completed in just four years at a cost of 2.545 billion euros. It involved 5,100 workers and 740 units of construction equipment. The bridge will save Turkey 415 million euros annually in fuel and emissions costs, with an overall positive economic impact estimated at 5.5 billion euros per year. Most importantly, 
The Tsanakale 1915 bridge will provide a faster route from Istanbul to Turkey's southeastern regions, boosting international tourism and reducing goods delivery times. This project will significantly enhance transportation between Asia and Europe, eliminating the need for vehicles to queue for ferries. Are you impressed with these Turkish mega projects? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to Tech Laria. Also, check out our previous videos. Goodbye.